Hi guys, Winslow here with Vibrant Health Evolution, and it's day six, and uh, I decided to um, keep my asparagus raw, so I was going to steam them, but I decided to keep them raw because they're actually so good raw, and I tasted some the other day, and I was like, oh, these are easy to eat raw, I kind of like them raw, but I am steaming the Brussels sprouts, and then I decided I probably wasn't going to have quite enough food, so I'm going to make a version of the spinach salad. I was running a bit low on spinach, so I put some kale in here. I, I don't want to take the time to do the spiralizer right now, so I'm going to just put the whole cucumber in there. This wasn't an organic cucumber, so I peeled it. And then I added the um, some basil and cilantro. And um, since I don't have the little cherry tomatoes, I'm going to add these tomatoes. And hopefully this is like not too much stuff. This soup, I think, is so delicious. And I believe the key to it is having some really good tasting tomatoes, which I think these are. So... Now, I may add more tomato, but let's see if it will actually blend up like this. Might just have too much in here, but I'm going to try and make it work. I did put a, a, one garlic clove in here as well. And I'm going to add a little lemon too. I'll give it a little more juice. Turn it up a little. You do have to have a pretty powerful blender to do it this way. Otherwise, you might have to chop it up much smaller than I did. I kind of put everything in whole. Try this again. One more lemon. This will be easy. I can just put this like in a water bottle or a glass jar is probably what I'll use or something and drink this during the soccer game today. There it goes. You get too much and your breath will smell like it, but hopefully this won't be too much. Won't be kissing anybody today, I guess. This is Todd's out of town. He's on Mount Logan. So with 
the ginger, if I don't really peel it, I just wash it. Uh, give it a little rinse. Check it out, make sure it doesn't have any mold on it. down a little bit if there's some chunks in here and you go to low they'll sink to the bottom. Okay, I think we're there. So get it creative here. The cleanse is not that hard you guys. You can have tons of energy. You know, it might seem hard if you're not used to eating like this, but just you got to wrap your brain around like you're going to get everything you need with fruits and veggies. Every fruit and veggie has amino acids and trace amounts of fat and trace amounts of protein. And when I do the uh, fooddata.com and I plug in what I'm eating, it's kind of amazing because my protein is like, I'm getting plenty. I'll be getting 20% per meal, you know, and I'm eating tons. And so you can get all of the protein you need. Sprouts are really good. And what I find with the vitamins and nutrients is that they just shoot up. You know, I add things like thyme and rosemary and cilantro and, um, and then the sprouts and it's like all of a sudden like the amount of vitamins that I get per meal is amazing which is probably why why after two weeks of uh, my broken back I was like out doing almost everything I was doing ahead of time and by three weeks I was you know lifting weights and that kind of stuff again so anyway take good care of you I hope you'll do some version of the cleanse uh, get the cleanse to heal book the heavy metal detox is a really, it's a good way to start. It's just the morning portion of the cleanse. So anyway, just adding lemon water. That could be a good first step. Add lemon water right when you wake up every morning and give it a half an hour to flush out the toxins. And uh, from there, maybe add the celery juice or add a smoothie or something like that in. Eat tons and tons of fruits and veggies. You can do it. I'm rooting for you. This is Winslow with Vibrant Health Evolution. Namaste.